Hi, I'm Tim Toth. I am Market Manager for Industrial Automation with Mettler Toledo. And today we're going to do an unboxing video to show you how to go from a box for the ACT350 weight transmitter communicating to a Control Logix PLC from Allen Bradley Rockwell Automation over Ethernet IP. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the uh, box itself and show you what the ACT350 comes with. So first we have the instruction manual for safety instructions. Uh, there is a link at the bottom that you can reference that shows mt.com slash ind dash ACT350 dash downloads uh, if you want to get information on the ACT. There's the transmitter itself. Let's take that out of the bag. And then we have a screwdriver, a little mini screwdriver that looks like this. And then we have a few terminals as well, which I've pre-wired for the purposes of our demo this morning. All right, so if we look at the ACT350 itself, we see that it's got an, a display that we'll see in more detail momentarily, membrane keypad, uh, LEDs, power input, network input, and it has a uh, the load cell analog load cell input as well as programming port and reset if you ever need to reset this to factory uh, settings take dip switch number two turn it to on reboot the device and it'll reset okay uh, on our rack here today we've got a power supply an industrial ethernet switch uh, and a few of our transmitters we've got the ind 110 transmitter which is 4 to 20 uh, milliamp output, the IND131, which has a few choices as far as how that uh, operates, and the new ACT350 uh, weight transmitter, which is what we'll talk about today. So I will put this onto the rack, onto the DIN rail. All right, we've got a connection. And we're going to be connecting today to a Allen Bradley Control Logix with a L61 processor and an ENBT card in it uh, for our communication. So I'm going to go ahead and make the connections here. We've got our load cell simulator that we're going to use in place of a, normally you'd use a way module, load cell, or a bench scale. Uh, for this will make it easier for, our, for the purposes of our demo today. So I've got that pre-wired. And finally, I've got our power connection pre-wired. So now it's going to go through a boot up process. We'll see that the uh, LEDs are, are going to go and light up as it, as it initializes. Uh, when it's done initializing, all four LEDs should be solid. The first one is for the scale, verifying you have a valid connection. Power is obviously that uh, we have power to the unit. The network connection will go solid green here momentarily, indicating we have a good connection to the PLC. And then uh, finally we have the device LED, which is verifying that the unit is uh, in proper operating uh, status. All right, and now if we look at the display, we can see that the load cell simulator as we turn it is reporting the weight. So right now we're at 8.47 kilograms, and it says B slash G, which is indicating gross weight. And when we go through some changes here, we'll see that it goes into net weight as well. All right, so that is the unit itself. For how to get into the configuration, you can either configure using a, your laptop using software called Setup Plus, which is available free on our website. Um, but for the purposes of today's demo, we're going to program using the front keypad. So to, to get into programming mode, I hold down the green button for about one second, and I can just go through the different display here and what I want to get to is the information display for configuration and I can see that there's some settings here for capacity, calibration, and PLC commands. By default it goes into uh, two block format. It's also available in one block format. And I can go into the Ethernet IP settings. The MAC address is, is listed here. DHCP is disabled by default. And the IP address, IP address is defaulted to 192.168.0.2. And for the purposes of the sample software, uh, please keep it at that uh, IP address for proper operation.
All right, and then the subnet mask and gateway can be defined as well. So I'm going to back out of uh, the menu and go back to the main display. And next I'm going to show how to get to the demo software. So uh, the sample code is available by going to mt.com. Uh, I'm already at that site. So I'm going to go to the search box and type in ACT350. And the website I'm looking for in the results here is ACT350 Weight Transmitter Downloads. I will click on that. On this page, you see that there's a variety of uh, information available, data sheets, drawings, certificates and compliance, quick guides in multiple languages, uh, user manual, PLC description files, including EDS files, the sample code, and the Setup Plus software. So to get to the uh, sample code, I will click on that, and we'll, I'll save it to the desktop. Uh, for the uh, sake of time, I went ahead and uh, extracted that already on my desktop, so it's available to RS Logix. So I've got RS Logix running in the background, and I will now open the sample code that I've already extracted and double click on that. All right, so we now have our sample code opened up. So what I will do is go to the menu here and I will download the software to the control logics. All right, we're going to go into remote run mode. So we have successfully downloaded the sample code to the control logics. And we'll close that window there. And what we want to do is uh, see that the ACT350 is connected and operating, so there's no warnings. And so we've got a, the ACT350 uh, in the tree here at IP address 192.168.0.2, which is what we mentioned earlier. Okay. And to verify that we have communication and we're communicating with the cyclic data, I'm going to go into the main program. Uh, click on the cyclic data link, double click on that, and we can go down to rung 3 and look for the heartbeat bits to verify that we have communication. So you see the heartbeat here is going back and forth. That is our indication that cyclic data is being communicated between the ACT350 weight transmitter and the control logics. So that's great. We've got communication. So that was easy. I'm going to do a split screen and show that we can now read da different data points using the sample code. So I'm going to go to rung 5 up in the top of the screen here and I want to show a couple different values. So let me do that. I'm going to go down on the lower screen here to rung 8. Rung 8 is where we have created some uh, bits that you can toggle to send different commands to the ACT350. So for example, uh, right now, uh, I want to I want to find out what the gross weight is of the scale. So I'm going to go to this bit, send the report gross weight command. So I'm going to click on that, toggle it, and you'll see that up in rung five, we're now displaying the, the gross weight 8.48, which is what we're reading on the ACT 350, 8.48. Now I'm going to do a tear command. So I will do a send, send command for tear, toggle that bit, and you'll see that the value up here is now at zero, as is the display on the ACT350, and the ACT350 is now showing net instead of gross for the weight. Now if I take the ACT350 and do the load cell simulation, we can increase that to 4.484 kilograms, so that's our net weight. So if I want to report our net weight, I'll go back over to here, send the report net weight command, toggle that. You see we now show 4.83 as we show also on the ACT350. If I vary that again, we'll see that that command changes. And if I want to see what gross weight is, I can go back over here and look at gross weight. 
and that value is 14.43, which would be the combination of the tear weight and the net weight. Okay, so that was how easy it is to get data from the ACT350 to the control logics through Ethernet IP, download the sample code, give it a try. I hope that was really helpful and explains to you how easy it is to get that data and get communication going. Uh, if you need more information, please uh, go to mt.com. Thank you. Have a great day.